Want to create better Power BI visuals without using custom visuals? All you need is a little creativity and you can create visuals like this and this. Recently, I saw a video from Mara Pereira. She had created what looked like a progress bar visual, but I thought that's really cool. So I added another aspect to the visual to make the progress bar into something that looks a little bit more like a temperature gauge. And it's actually pretty easy to do. Let me show you how. Here in PowerPoint, we're gonna start by inserting a shape. We're gonna choose a rounded rectangle. To draw the rectangle, just click and drag. Now we're gonna right click and choose format shape. And from here, we wanna use this tool, size and properties. We're gonna change the size so that it's five inches high and a half an inch wide. Now we'll use the fill and line tool, choose fill, choose gradient fill, and this is where we're gonna add our gradient. You see, the bar itself shows progress towards the KPI, but adding a gradient adds information by providing context. For example, 85% performance might sound really good, but what if acceptable performance is 95%? Adding the gradient gives context to the visual to let the viewer know instantly the level of performance. We're gonna make the first stop blue. Click the color dropdown, choose more colors, custom, and here's where I'm gonna enter the hex code. The hex code for blue is 0000FF. Next, we wanna create a yellow stop. And the hex code I'm gonna use for yellow is FFFF00. And then last, we'll create the red stop. And this hex code is FF0000. There's one extra stop that we'll just click on and then click the delete button. Now, our temperature gate is upside down. So we'll choose the angle and we'll change that to 270. Now we don't wanna just create a random gradient. Remember, we're trying to tell a story with the data. So we wanna match up our stops with our rating system. I'll keep blue at zero. I'll make yellow. 75, and I'll make the red stop 95. There, and the last thing, we're gonna to go to line and choose no line. Now all we need to do is right click on our shape, choose save as picture, and I'll save this as thermometer. Make sure you choose the PNG graphic format so that we have a transparent background. Now I'll switch over to Power BI, and we're gonna choose insert and then image. Let's adjust the size here. Under the general tab, we're gonna to go to properties, and we'll change this to 300 high by 40 wide. Let's move that over into the center. Next, we'll insert a shape. This is gonna be a rounded rectangle. Here again, we'll go to general, and this time we'll adjust the size to 300 high by 35 wide. And as you can see, that didn't really work too well. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with Power BI here. So we're gonna manually adjust this. Oh, oh, it just magically got bigger. I think that's a bug in Power BI. Now the first thing we'll do with this is we'll go to shape, and then style, and we'll make the fill transparency 100%. Next, we're gonna add a border, and let's make the color medium gray, and we'll increase the width to five pixels. Let's go back to make sure that the size is correct. 300 by 35, we're good there. I'm just gonna move this on top of this image. And as you can see, Power BI gives us some alignment help here. And just to make sure they're both lined up, I'll select both the image and the shape. We're gonna to go to Format, Align, Align Center, and then we'll do Alignment. Okay, that looks good. Next, we're gonna create a column chart. Drag that up here, and here I'm gonna add a measure called performance max. Performance max is just set to 100. So this is gonna define the maximum for our rating. We'll go to the formatting tool. We'll turn off X axis and turn off Y axis. As you can see, we're still seeing the Y axis title here. Not sure exactly why the title doesn't get turned off when you turn off the Y axis. But all we need to do is go under Y axis and turn off the title. And then under general, we'll turn off the title here too. Next, we're gonna line up the column chart to the bottom of our gradient. We'll roughly resize it. We're gonna to try to get it to match the height as close as we can here. Now I'm gonna move it on top of the gradient. As you can see, we can no longer see the gradient. We just need to turn off the background. Under effects, turn the background off. Now I'm gonna to try to manually align the column chart to line up with our gradient. And if it doesn't quite work when we're trying to drag it, we can use the properties to nudge it. So I'll nudge it down just a bit. That looks good. Then I'll drag select all. And again, I'll use the align tool, the so align center. And I'm gonna to try to make it just about as wide as the shape. Now let's change our column chart to be the same color gray. And then for our chart, we're gonna change the measure to use performance. I should have actually waited to change the gray. So I'll go change that. Now when we click through our clients, the problem is this is working the opposite way we want it to. We want the gradient to show the performance, not the gray bar. To do that, we need to add another measure. So I'm gonna add a new measure. I'm gonna call this performance diff. And here I'll just set it to performance max minus performance. And then I'm gonna click on the column chart and I'll change the measure from performance to performance diff. And then I'll go change the color again to gray. 
And as you can see, it's still not working properly, because there are two more changes we need to make. First, on the y-axis, we need to set the range. For the minimum, we're going to enter zero, and we're going to set the maximum to a field value. And for the field value, we're going to use our performance max measure. And finally, under the y-axis, we're going to choose invert range. And now, when we click through our clients, we can see that it's working properly. And actually, I think I like this even better. If we change the gray to a white, under columns, we're going to make this white. Now we just need to rearrange the visuals on the page. To do that, we'll go to view, choose selection, and we want to take our column chart here and move it below the shape. Now when we click through the clients, we have a little bit more of a see-through temperature gauge. But to put the finishing touches on this temperature gauge visual, let's add a card that shows the actual number. And for this, we're going to add the performance measure, and we'll turn off the category label. And let's set the font size to 30. And we can move that right up under the temperature gauge. For the star rating visual, we'll use a similar technique, but we'll add something extra at the end. Let me show you. Back over in PowerPoint, we're going to go to Insert, choose Shapes, and let's add the star. Click and drag, and this time you can hold down Shift to constrain the proportion. Over in the Size and Properties tool, let's make that 1 inch by 1 inch. And we'll change the color of the fill, go to More Colors, and the hex code here, we'll use a gold color. That's going to be FFD700. We'll choose No Line. Now just copy and paste, realign those. Now we're going to move this one four inches away. Next we'll paste three more times. Move those up in line with the others. Now we'll click and drag to select all of them. And then we'll go to Arrange, Align, and Distribute Horizontally. There, now we can just save as picture. Again, make sure it's on the PNG format. We'll call this Stars. And back over in Power BI, let's go back to our chart. We'll copy paste that. Let's change that to a bar chart. And we'll change the color to blue so we can see it for now. We'll make that a little wider. And let's rename this. Now we'll insert an image. Choose our stars. And let's move those up here. Let's rename that to stars. For our bar chart, we're going to add the performance max measure and remove performance diff. And here we want to size it so that it matches the width of the stars. That's perfect. Now we want to select the bar chart. And now we're going to add the performance diff measure and delete the performance max measure. Next, change the color to white. And the selection pane will move the bar chart above the stars. And now when we click through the clients, we can see our star rating system is working. Now what would make this even better is if we could show the empty stars. How can we do this since the stars are behind the column chart? Let me show you a trick. Back over in PowerPoint, we'll copy paste the stars, drag them down, and the fill and line tool will choose no fill, and for line we'll choose solid line. And let's go with black. Now just right click, save as picture, make sure you're clicking on a line and not the empty space. And the same thing, we're going to save as a PNG file, call this stars outline. Now back over in Power BI, we'll insert the image, Now we're going to place that right on top. And now when we click through our clients, that looks better. To put the finishing touches on this, let's create a star rating measure. To do that, we'll create a new measure. We'll call it star rating. We're going to do performance divided by performance max divided by five. Let's set the format to decimal, and we'll use one decimal place. Now just copy and paste our thermometer card, drag it over, and we'll add the star rating measure. Now when we click through, we can see the stars along with the numeric rating. Thank you.